Boston Free Radio community. My name is Melissa and I'm one of the Spring 2021 BFR interns. Today I'm going to show you how to make a graphic for your show similar to a poster that just really tells your listeners the essentials, including what the show's name is, the time, and where they can listen in, which is of course BFR. First off, you're going to want to use Canva. This is a free graphic design website and it's perfect for making graphics such as this. To make an account, you just head to canva.com slash sign up, which I am going to do right now. And once that page is loaded, you can go ahead and make your account with a Gmail, which is my preferred method as it's easiest to log in when using Google Chrome, or you can use Facebook. There's also a Apple sign in option and you're of course then welcome to sign up with your other email if that is something you're interested in. Now, I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in with that now. And then you're in. So if you haven't finished setting up your account, feel free to pause the video here until you have. If you are on this page though, you can start making your graphic. To do this, you're gonna to wanna to click the purple button in the top right corner that reads, create a design. The reason you'll want to do this as opposed to using one of the many templates provided is because you need to specify the dimensions according to BFR's graphic dimensions. Once you click the create a design button, you're gonna see a drop down. In the bottom left corner, you're gonna see this circular button with a plus on it that says custom size. Go ahead and click on this. And then in the width and height spaces, you are going to want to put in 2000 by 2000. Now, this may seem a little silly, but it's really, really important that you double and triple check that you have the right number of zeros and that you have 2000 in each box, simply because if you do not have 2000 by 2000 from the get-go and you don't have Canva premium, you will have to start your graphic over um, once you're done with it to do the correct graphics again, because you cannot resize these images very well as PNGs. Now, you're gonna go ahead and click create new design once you have that 2000 by 2000 correct. Once you click the create a design button, you are going to see this blank canvas ready for you to digitally paint. On the sidebar, you're gonna find some templates that fit this size of graphic, which of course you are welcome to use. Um, you can always then add or delete some of the elements, whether it's from a template or even from your own design. So that's good to keep in mind. You are also going to see on the sidebar below templates, a section called uploads. And this is most likely gonna be your favorite feature. Here is where you can take images and import them into Canva. Now these should be .jpg, otherwise known as JPEG files, which almost, almost all photos are already. So it shouldn't really be much of an issue there. To get it out of the way, why don't we all go ahead and upload our BFR logo, which should be a component of your graphic to some degree. So let's click on the uploads tab. And here you can see some of my previous uploads from other graphics that I have made um, and they're stored in here for you to use in any graphic in the future. So here we're going to click on upload media in the top, that purple button. And then you have the options of where you can get the image from. I personally have the logo stored in my device, and I'm sure many of you do as well. It's just downloaded onto my computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click device. 
Mine personally is in my downloads. That's where it is. You can navigate to yours right now. BFR logo, you could double click or I'm gonna click open. And voila, you could see it's still downloading and it's finished. Here it is. Um, and I'll just show you, you can click on it. It'll pop up. You can also drag and drop and it'll pop up. So we're gonna actually leave it off for now uh, while we are creating the graphic itself, just because that's going to be a smaller component of it and we don't wanna take up too much space. So now we are ready to design and we will start with our background. So I'm today going to be making a graphic for my personal college radio show called What Would You Play? Uh, we talk about scenarios about if we were in a movie, what music would make up the soundtrack. Now, I'm not telling you all this to plug my show, but actually to help you brainstorm a little about your own graphic and how it can relate to your show. Um, and I'm just going to go for a very simple, basic graphic today. And I'm going to click on the background now. Obviously, the A is taken out just because there's not enough space. Um, it's second to last on the sidebar. And then you can see here tons and tons of options to choose from. There are both images and then just solid colorings. I want to use a light coloring personally. Um, so my images that I'm going to put on really, really pop. Um, and I'm a sucker for lilac. And as you can see, that's not an option here. So what I'm actually gonna do is create my own color using this color wheel. Um, it's pretty simple. You can see it right there. I actually love this color. Uh, so I'm just gonna stick with that. So you could just click off of it and then there it is. And here it is, if you wanna use it again. And then I'm going to show you a nifty tool on Canva, which is Elements. So go ahead and click on Elements. And this is where you're going to find shapes, images, and tons and tons of things that you can use to help really create your graphic. And these are where you're going to find the things that are going to relate to your show. So I personally want to find a clapperboard, which is basically the thing that they use to cut a scene in a movie. So instead of going through all of this stuff and probably not being able to find the clapperboard, I'm just gonna search for it. Um, many of these items are free, by the way, you'll see it says free. If it pops up as paid or money of some kind, just search for another one. And you see even here, there are tons and tons of options to choose from. Um, I actually like this one where everything is filled in. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that and I'm just gonna click on it. And there it is in my graphic. And I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I can always change the size or the angle of it. But as I said, I'm just gonna leave that as is. And now, I am going to search for my title. So to do any sort of text, of course, you're gonna to wanna to click on text. So go ahead and click on text in the sidebar. And here you can add a heading, which is basically just adding really big text, um, just like a Word document or a Google document or any other uh, type that you might use. There are different fonts. Um, anything that has this crown next to it is premium. So I recommend not clicking on that unless you'd like to pay for it. Um, but I kind of want to use one of these fun ones, one of these fancy ones for mine because it is a graphic. So I'm just going to delete this and search. And kind of to keep with the vibe of what I'm doing, I think I'm going to go with something neon. So I like the vibe of this one. I think it goes really well with the rest of my color scheme. And I think it's just the fun kind of vibe that I'm looking for. 
So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And once you have the text inserted, you can double click, delete it, and then type in your show name or whatever it is that you're interested in having in this text box. So I'm going to type in what would you play, which is my show name. And I'm just going to leave it like that for now. From here, I'm just going to rearrange my slide so it kind of looks the way I want. So it's very straight, very plain right now. And I'm thinking I want some angles. I'm pretty okay with this. I think it's the simple kind of graphic I was looking for. Um, if you would like, you can of course make your smaller, if it's taking up too much space, you can add the DJ's names on your show or perhaps the time of your show, really anything you want. But I have now shown you the basics. So this is how I'm gonna keep mine personally. And I'm pretty much done all but the uploaded Boston Free Radio graphic. So I'm just gonna add that in now. I'm gonna make that real small. And I'm gonna prop that up in my corner. Just make sure. And my graphic is done. Here is your graphic. Here's all your essential info. You're not required to go beyond this. And I'm ready to download mine. So to download and send it to BFR, you do want to keep it as a PNG. It'll keep it as suggested. Here you can see it kept that 2000 by 2000 PX form. Click download. It's going to download straight to your computer. It's going to pop up with this ad. Please don't worry. You're just going to click off of it. And then you have your download. Um, if it suits your fancy, you can change the title of your document here. So let's say I wanted to call it graphic or even BFR graphic, and there it is. Changes save automatically. There's absolutely nothing you need to do. I could click out of this right now, come back to Canva later, and it'll look exactly like this. And make sure to send your graphic over to Heather so she can upload it to the BFR website. And that was the entirety of this video. I thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. I hope this was helpful. I hope it wasn't too long and I hope that you have a great graphic.